Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome on in to the first match of the Rando Blackout TE tournament. Uh, I am Apress, joined here by Sawayoshi. Hello, I'm Sawayoshi. I'll be co-coms for this race. Yeah, and it's going to be a very exciting match here. Uh, I'll go ahead and start off by kind of explaining the, the format of the tournament and everything. Yeah. Uh, for people who are not familiar with it. Uh, but our runners will be playing with the Hollow Knight randomizer mod. So uh, all kinds of items are going to be in random locations, all like movement skills, spells, uh, keys, uh, as well as like charms, uh, the different dreamers, and the King Soul fragments uh, that you need to get to Void Heart. Uh, and the goal of the randomizer is going to be to collect three dreamers and three white fragments uh, in order to be able to beat the trending of the game, uh, as well as completing all of the, the goals on the bingo board, uh, which you see on the right there will be filled out as the, the players uh, do those goals. Uh, they'll be using a mod called item sync. So when one of them picks up an item, their partner will get it automatically. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much explains what the the race is going to look like. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. We'll try to try to answer them. Uh, but yes, yeah, this first round of what's going to be a double elimination tourney going on for the next uh, three or four weeks or so. But yeah, I think um, we're making sure all of our runners are ready. Uh, and we'll get them counted down pretty soon. Yep, we got a, a stray bingo board coming up on on stream here, but it looks like it's gone, so we're good. All right, going to make sure everyone is ready. All right, they've been counted down, uh, and we should go ahead and see them starting in just a second here. Just a quick second, starting in, looks like Green Path and Fungal. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, we don't have video footage for Kama today, but we do have footage for the other three, and we can figure out kind of what's happening on Kama's screen from Pure Nails gameplay. Yeah, we'll be able to see in the top right corner of Kama Street is the, the recent items. Um, it'll be a little bit hard to read it, um, but we should be able to see what areas Kama's in from that. Yep. Immediately we have Purinail and Potato both going to uh, going through the Moss Knight probably to get to the stag and the bench over there. Pretty much synced on those two. And then yeah. Kali also heading up to through fungal getting sporgs here a couple tight jumps but would not be surprised to see kama doing the same okay call him a little bit trouble with that top spork there that is a little pretty scary too health is a little low precise jump um, this is also a precise jump here not the easiest Go ahead and take the safety heal. I respect it. Yeah. So, uh, corner for pop up in in pure nail stream comma going down to corner for and maybe looking at what might be there. Yeah, at I believe unless they uh, change the settings, maps won't be randomized. Mm -hmm. uh, which actually we probably should have checked if they made any changes to the what was randomized beforehand. But I'm going to assume that maps are not randomized. Yeah. If not, I don't believe there's a goal for that on the bingo board. Is to potato a little scary? One health. So, Kali gonna pick up Mantis Claw at uh, Queen Station Stag. Uh, looks like Kama picked it up. We saw it show up on Pure Nail Screen too. Mm -hmm. Early Claw Seed today. Yeah, so and that's also... gonna give. Yeah. Oh, I think Kali clipped into the wall there in Dirt Mouth Stag. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, but they were gonna bench rub out anyways, so. All right. Yeah, early claw is of course going to open up a whole 
bunch of the map for everyone. Um, looks like we might see Kali here either probably going into Deep Nest or up to Crossroads. Uh, I'm yeah. guessing it's going to be Deep Nest. Either Crossroads or Deep Nest. Honestly, both are options. It looks like mm -hmm. they're at the very least going down right now. Crossroads, of course, has a lot of checks. Deep Nest, uh, not as dense but also potato does have the option to go down there go up to crossroads as well through times i've been hit by um, already. <laughs> through cliffs so yeah although i haven't been able to fully track which times they got in i don't think they've had a balder kill yet or i guess they just picked up mark of pride just that picked up be. mark of pride yeah so yeah that is an option now for potato and of course we have pure nail going down through green path and something going on in commas, and we have absolutely no clue what it could be. Though we do have wings oh. and VS. It looks like those are both at Leg Eater, if I'm reading that right. Yeah, that looks like the case, which Kali is going up to Leg Eater or up in that direction right now. We might see that on green side as well pretty soon mm -hmm. here. All right, so we're going to start off with double vertical. Um... That is going to give access to a whole lot of the map, but not having dash means it is a little slow getting around some areas. So a big part of these, yeah, big part of these races is like, you do want to get your movement sorted out as soon as possible. Um, before, kind of before you try to go um, and work away at any of the goals on the board. Uh, which we haven't really talked about or paid much attention to, but I think now's a good chance to maybe pay attention to that, see if there's anything uh, very noteworthy. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, immediately what I'm seeing is Hive Mask Shard. That's going to be mm -hmm. difficult for both teams to get, unless we have some sort of tram pass somewhere. That might be difficult. Also, Tame 2 life Lifeblood Charms. You don't know how that could go. Of yeah, course, all these, few... all these ran random obtains might be an issue. Yeah, check Void Heart. Check Void Heart. Heart in the, um, at first glance looks difficult, but it's a Blackout. I believe it's Blackout TE. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, it's Blackout TE. That means we do need Void Heart. So getting into Birthplace, it, as long as you have Abyss access, isn't too bad. But that's the, that's the caveat. You need Abyss access. So you need that. Uh, King's Brand, you need that Shade Cloak, which is two dashes, so that might be a little hard to come by as we see uh, Team Green also getting those wings in VS. Yeah, so they should be pretty even as far as movement now. Uh, Kali's going to be heading over towards uh, Mantis Village side of Fungal. Um, trying to pay attention on Pure Nail's screen, and it looks like Kam is up in Crossroads. Uh, I think I can see that they got a mask shard from from Forgotten Crossroads. It mm -hmm. says looks like it. So a bit of routing difference we see now between the the two teams. Also, yeah, I did see Potato just picked up a seal from Cornifer. So maps are randomized after all. Mm -hmm. So there is a reason to still check maps in Cornifer locations. They do have... Oh, they do have plenty of Balder Killer. They have VS. Yeah. Yeah, even with Mark of Pride, it is, setting up the spacing when there's two Balders spitting at you can be pretty tough. So being able to just do it with VS is very helpful. Absolutely. And of course, because it's rando, Balders are one hit from anything except for, I believe, Weaver Song or... Or... Elegy. Uh, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, so it makes going for something like Long Nail or Mark of Pride Baldur's a lot more bearable. You only need to get it once. Usually having 60 health needing 12, 12 nail hits, I believe. As we see a little, little bit Kali stream. A little bit off-centered. And yeah. Green gets Lantern from Hornet. Not okay. something that... Wow. A lot of not something that um is super commonly checked. So it's a boss fight, so it takes a little bit. Yeah, having not... fireball definitely helps speed that up. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, it's trying to make sure with the board, it doesn't look like Lantern is going to be strictly required for anything. Uh, but of course, it so. helps a lot if you're not very familiar with dark rooms, because uh, even dunking just like a few times and being put back at the start of the room can cost you a lot of time. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't, it doesn't look like there's anything really it, that has dark rooms, but there's definitely items down there and definitely things to pick up. Mm -hmm. as, as we see right now already, Potato going through Stone Sanctuary. Yeah, so I think these early routing decisions kind of um, maybe hint at the, the strategies each team is coming in with. Mm -hmm. uh, Potato and Kali are both staying in Fungal and Green Path, uh, the areas they started in. So they may be trying to go more for full clearing areas before moving on to new places. Uh, whereas we see Pure Nail and Kama have already moved on to, to Cliffs and Crossroads. Yeah, as we just saw Kali get King Stag, which is... It's city access. It's it's big. Yeah. It gives city access. It gives basin access with a couple more items. With one or two more items, it gives um, it gives uh, edge access. As we see, uh, a goal marked by Kama, uh, presumably. I talked to Saluba while overcharm its first goal today. So yeah, Kama in crossroads. I assume he's gonna be rushing shops. Uh, you get to see just a bunch of items super quickly by doing that. Uh, usually a pretty, pretty popular strategy. Might also potentially be splitting the shops because Pure Nail does have somewhat reasonable uh, dirt mouth access mm -hmm. and, and a little bit more Geo to work with compared to Kama right now. Yes, tram pass is required because of those two goals, map pins from Zelda, as well as the Hive Mask Shard. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little awkward trying to split uh, shops because even if the, the one who goes through cliffs gets to Dirtmouth, um, you need to go all the way down to save Sly it takes a bit of time, too. That's true. Do you need, you need Sly to shop at Sly, and that makes perfect sense. <laughs> and don't tell anyone, but I also um, entirely forgot about that fact. No worries. There is a whole lot of things you need to remember when playing randos mm -hmm. like this. A lot of things. Especially people play with so many different types of settings and stuff. Uh, definitely can take a bit to get used to it. Yeah. See Kali warping out here with Bench Warp to hopefully a bench that they've been to before. Yeah, going down to Queen's Station. Have, have a couple checks in here that you can get with Wings and Claw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, journal up here at Willow being one of the, the few checks that you specifically need Wings for. You can't do any kinds of skips or anything to get up there. Mm -hmm. I do believe there is a slope fall. I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, but, I haven't um, seen it yet, but... Yeah. Slope ball and Shriek Pogos, neither of those are going to be allowed for this tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, slope ball gets a little bit weird with quality of life, um, making it not possible in most circumstances. And then Shriek Poco is an entire different beast in Rando yes. compared to Vanilla. And one that I don't think we're going to, to get into very much on comms right now. There's been enough discussion mm -hmm. about that today. There's been, there's been plenty. So we see Holly looks like going down maybe into Deep Nest. Potato still in Cliffs. Pyrenale going through, uh, going through Overgrown Mound. And then Kama somewhere in the world, getting wraiths just as Pyrenea warps out of Mound, interestingly it's enough. An, in Ancestral Mound is where Kama got it, so yeah. clearing like crossroads. Yeah, remember, crossroads. Green Team does have uh, Lantern already, so that's going to help Kali out quite a bit in Deep Nest. Gonna help Kali and maybe help Potato if they if they end up going down to... Um, down to Joni's over here. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that happens. Yeah. 
would not be surprised to see it. Kali doing some a little precise platforming to get over here to, to Spore's room with just clawn wings. A little precise, couple dunks. Potato also doing a bit of a tricky uh, pogo to get up to get up to the stag get up to stag nest. We did see that earlier, I believe from Pure Nail. There we go. Kali's able to make it. Not enough soul for heal, a little scary. And yeah, they're just going to work out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Going through that next few rooms to get to, to deepness can be a little tricky. Especially if you're trying to, to rush it. Um kind of a lot of enemies, a lot of things to get hit by. Yeah. A lot of dirt carvers, which, which can just appear out of nowhere and yep. absolutely destroy any sort of health that you had remaining going into Deep Nest. So you see, it looks like a second Fragile Charm on Blue's end. Having, I, I believe it's Greed and then Fragile Heart. Yes, Both indeed. somewhere in Crossroads, I think. Somewhere that neither of them have, neither of them on green team have been so mm -hmm. far. Both of them going places that Navy hasn't, Navy Blue hasn't been yet. Going through Joni's and going to City here on Kali's end. Yeah, taking advantage of that King Station stag. It's definitely gonna help uh, the two teammates split up. That's gonna be a pretty important part throughout this whole tournament is seeing how uh, each team decides to split up the map. Uh, you want to not have to like backtrack over parts of the game that your teammate has already completed as much as possible yeah as little backtracking as possible lets you do lets you just simply do more checks and that's mm. very important in a blackout of all things so we got dream mill in jonies and king's brand in jonies as well that is wow. very good jonies yeah and of course that lantern coming in handy there Again, from that Hornet fight earlier on, which I don't oh. believe Navy's done yet. No, I don't think so. I'm curious when we're going to see them go back for that. Uh, if they do at all, they might if they do at all. choose not to. Yeah, they will need that King's Brand for uh, Check Void Har on the board there. Mm -hmm. But it that is entirely possible without Lantern, so we'll see what happens there. As Pure Nail looks like Dream he's Nail. leaving cliffs. Yeah, Potato able to clear a little bit more of cliffs than Pure Nail is now because of that lantern they found. Or sorry, because of the, the Dream Nail they found. Mm -hmm. Quick little jaunt here with Gorb ascending somewhere, who knows where. Although hopefully not ascending too high. That's kind of one yeah. of the most annoying things Gorb could do. Just fly away and not let you deal any damage. Yeah, especially without Wraiths. But we do get Gorb down here, I believe. Boss Essence is rendered, so we'll see what happens here. We get a Soul Refill. Absolutely worth it. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Soul Refills do <laughs> nothing in terms of progression at the very least. It can be nice in a couple situations, but... Not really what you, what you want to be seeing when you're going for items. Yeah, I think Potato making one last uh, trip down here into cliffs. I assume this is going to be to light the, the Grim Lantern. Mm -hmm. Because we do have Dream Nail here, we can light the Grim Lantern. That gives us, uh, I believe, one more check at this point. Because one more check, uh, but... I don't think Green has any Fragile Charms yet. Right, yeah, I'm not sure if... Were both of the ones that Blue Team picked up? Oh, well, Blue just picked up a third Fragile Charm, actually. Uh, found Strength in a Zelda. Mm -hmm. uh, all the three that they need. Yep, they, so they marked the, the goal there. Uh, but yeah, Divine is going to be uh, selling checks um, once you have each of the three Fragile Charms. We do get that Nightmare Lantern lit, and Potato going to be, I believe, going down to Crossroads in Dirtmouth at this point. 
Yeah, uh, chat is reminding us. It looks like there was a, a dive um, in a Zelda shop as well. Interesting. That's pretty nice. That gives them one of each spell. Uh, dive is not only a good source of damage, but also gives you access to quite a few important areas of the map. Uh, as we're going to see Piernail using it to enter uh, Crystal Peak right away. Yeah, and we do see Grimshell, so they don't need to light the lantern at all. Mm hmm Maybe one thing, maybe maybe one thing that Potato and Kali did that was a, maybe a little bit extra. Didn't need to light that Grim Lantern because there's that Grim Child right there. Yeah, yeah, always a bit of a tough decision to make whether or not you go back to light the lantern, um, because you could find Grim Child like in one of the very next checks, um, but it could also be locked behind something that is at Divine. So. Yeah, who knows? You could have Grimchild at Grimchild. Who knows? And yes, we do see uh, Kill Gorgeous Husk marked a little bit late there, forgetting that, th that it was a goal on the bingo board. Currently yeah. at three goals for green and two for blue. Currently pretty even, I would say. Mm -hmm. Nothing super polarizing yet. So who knows? Any point, either team could get a dash and things could really change. Yeah. Thankfully, as far as movement so far, this uh, rando, we've seen them get it at pretty similar times. Yeah, so far. And we see Pyrenel going through, I believe that's uh, Peak's Dark Rim. Mm -hmm. A little scary, but not too bad with wings and claw to help you through. And we see the focus pop up. And we do have a white fragment at Divine for... I'm not sure what that was. I believe it was Greed I saw that Potato put on. Yeah, nice thing by Pyrene also doing a little bit of a, a fireball skip to get over to Crystallized Mound early. Very nice. Yeah, doing that Dark Room is... Not not easy. The dark room isn't easy, and neither no. is that fireball skip. But it gives pretty good access, letting you do all of Crystallized Mound, but also letting you drop down into resting grounds, uh, which they didn't have access to in any other way. Yeah, didn't have access to resting grounds. They do have elevator pass to get into city as well. I don't think they have king stack, so that's their first city access, and that'll be big for them. Mm-hmm. And we see green getting a uh, dive as well here. Yeah, it looks like they saw there was a Fragile Heart in a shop too, in a Zelda. So I guess, did a Zelda have Fragile Heart and Strength? I don't know. I think Strength might have been at Salubra. Okay. There's definitely two Fragile Charms in shops somewhere. Though I don't really know or remember where they were. Mm-hmm. And yeah, blue team's going to pick up their first dreamer there. Uh, there is one uh, dupe dreamer, so you only need to find three out of the four. Um, so that's good. One more step towards getting that true ending. You're going to see potato checking grubs here. Uh, I kind of already had a feeling based on how Navy was not going out of their way for for grubs that there wasn't going to be anything too important there uh looked like quick slash was kind of the the only thing of note nothing too very important mm -hmm. i'll just a little nice but two is sometimes there's better options for even for a spell twister for two with vanilla cause sometimes Sometimes you can have Soul Eater for one, and that's just a better option. I don't know. I will never say no to a, a Twister for two. Oh, and there we see. There was a heart uh, at the Soul Totem here before Malik. Uh, Pyrenial going to be checking Seer now. Um... Looks like nothing too important there either. Um, 
Not sure if they already have the 200 essence they need to open Glade or not. Uh, there is a check in there that they will probably want to get at some point. Yeah. Of course, can be a little bit difficult without Swim, which I believe is randoed. Yes, uh, Swim will be randomized. Swim is randomized, okay. One specific pool of water in in uh, Spirit's Glade that can be a little annoying to cross, but it shouldn't really be an issue with Claw and Wings, yeah. I don't believe, and and uh, Wraiths as well. Mm -hmm. Especially we saw Piernail do a very similar skip uh, just to get into Resting Ground, so. Mm -hmm. Probably's gonna be making their way into to Sanctum here. Uh, pretty nice play. Once you have Dive and Claw and you're able to, to full clear it, there's a good number of checks that you're able to get fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. A good number of checks and a rando goal. We do have uh, chat, uh, read both Lore Tablets and Soul Sanctum, and you don't need much else other than Dive to do that. So Dive mm -hmm. and Claw. So, And we do have both of those, so we'll probably be seeing that marked within the next few minutes. Moment of truth here. Prenail is going to be checking flower quest. Is Let's... this going to be something they have to do? What is it going to be? We'll see. It's probably going to be a charm notch. It's a soul refill. It's even worse. Okay, neither team is going to be doing flower quest today. And I, for one, am frankly very glad about that. Yeah, you kind of do love to see that. <laughs> Kali, unfortunately, doesn't have any nail arts yet. So they're going to have to go through all of Hell Room. Um, trying to charge a nail so. art and yeah they don't, don't have any think they have anything yeah doing this without dash is pretty annoying but wings helps out quite a bit very clean yeah the nice twisters uh, not gonna bully them too much you do get swim from that uh, green does get swim from that uh, from the gome journal entry mm -hmm. something easily missed with journals being something that was somewhat recently added yeah not something that you always think to check immediately yeah it's a bit of an awkward one to go back to especially because we know kama already went through that room sometimes you forget to to go back for one-off checks like that one-off checks sometimes can feel a little not worth if, if you're just going back for one check, but sometimes that one check, it can be swim. Mm -hmm. Exactly what you need. Or maybe it could be lantern at Hornet. Yeah. Yeah, and swim's going to be pretty nice for now without having any kind of horizontal. Uh, that'll give uh, green team access to, to Kingdom's Edge if they want it um, through King Station. And also just help them do like a lot of waterways stuff. If they do end up doing that in the near future, which they might, there is there is defeat white defender on the board that'll eventually have to get marked. Yeah, white defender though, you do need to have three dreamers before you're able to to fight the boss, so that pretty much has to be a later game uh, goal that you do. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like blue team did get a uh, shade soul somewhere. That'll be good damage for for now and for later in the race. Yeah. Kali having to fight to uh, really. Soul Master right now with just VS. So doing pretty well. Yeah, entering second phase here with... Gonna say good amount of health, but taking that hit right away is a little unfortunate. Yeah, two is not super great, but shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully I believe they get a pretty early perch from Soul Master. Why are we seeing those? You can get the most damage in during those phases, and it's also the easiest to dodge those orbs compared to the dives sometimes, especially without dash. As mm -hmm. we see Kali defeating Soul Master and Potato defeating Gros Mom on the left and getting Saluba's blessing right in front of Saluba. Yeah, I would be extremely surprised if we saw a to soul tyrant here from Kali. I think that's the kind of thing you want to wait on until you have dash. Yeah, though at the same time, it is a one-off check that's a little bit annoying to come back to. Mm -hmm. Some racers might choose to do it, but it doesn't look like Kali is one of those. 
we do see uh, Lore Tablets and Soul Sanctum marked a little bit early. A little bit of spoilers. Yeah, unfortunately the board is usually going to be a little bit ahead of um, the racer's view for, for some of these races. We see Potato Overcharming probably to mark. Talk to Salubo while Overcharmed. It looks like it, yeah. It's marked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't say... They have a particularly any any charms that really make me wanna say you would overcharm for them. Mm -hmm. um, it can be a valid strategy in um, in random races to go for some pretty risky overcharms. Yeah, who knows? Uh, some may, you might find. Some, uh, maybe there's maybe there's a shaman stone somewhere in somewhere in let's say green path that no one's gotten yet. And Shaman's Dome for five notches. That would be something that I'd overcharm for. Yeah. That's usually what you'll see people decide to overcharm. Something like uh, Shaman's. Some some runners will do it for Dash Master. And then something like Defender's Crest or like a Fragile Charm if you need to go do a check associated with it. It's not something you see very often, but it's still an option. We see a nail upgrade from green team with the, um, with, I believe they're using rando plus. I don't think nail upgrades are immediately used and they can just choose to use it whenever. Correct. Yeah. So that's a, an option with rando plus, um, uh, they can go into their inventory to choose when they want to actually claim the nail upgrades, uh, which is nice. You'll usually see runners waiting to, um, actually get those nail upgrades for, usually like a pretty good amount of the rando um spell damage is still like so good um that you want to let it carry you for a lot of the rando um and then you don't need to worry about scaling up the health on any of the dream warriors um and a few other bosses like watcher knights um so yeah i expect we're not gonna see any super early nail upgrades from anyone Probably not, especially with um, blue team having Shazel and green now having D Dark. Yeah, that's gonna be our, the second dreamer we see there. Um, Kali picking up Hera at the Kingdom's Edge map. Yep. Yeah, a little unfortunate for P Potato still in Crossroads. Uh, now gonna have to deal with infected enemies. Yeah, all of a sudden everything's everything's orange. You can't do much about it. Thankfully, they should be pretty much done with Crossroads things. It shouldn't impact their uh, their rando too much. Yeah, looks like Potato is getting a lot of grubs. Eight right now. Yeah, they do have the goal for um, check for all grubs in Crossroads and Fog Canyon. And that's true as well. So I imagine we're probably just going to see the those grubs be saved and not too many others, unfortunately not going to be saving many grubs hopefully saving a little bit of health here Kali at one just before the bench but does take a heal and makes it there as we see the grim child on green send as well I think Pyrenee going to be heading back into to peak now um try to see if I can spot where Kama is I think it says fungal core where they found that great slash um, so it might be time for Kama to either just clean up some fungal things or maybe heading down into Deep Nest through, through Fungal Core? Somewhere around, somewhere around those ends of the, ends of the map somewhere. I have no clue. <laughs> As we see two people in peak in one Dream Nail at that corner for location. Yeah. So it's definitely peak. good to see for for blue team to have a dream nail. Um, Cause yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see them heading back to, to Joni is anytime soon. We do need to see them go back eventually for that King's friend, but yeah. who knows when that's gonna happen. For all for all we know, it's possible that Kama's there right now. N never mind, he just picked up Sharp Shadow. 
So something I do want to know, Pure Nail did go ahead and pick up their, or accept the first nail upgrade. Um, so he's now working with nail one. Which does mean Dream Warriors are going to be just a little bit tankier if he's the one who goes to fight them. Mm -hmm. Looks like Potato falling down into resting ground is not quite getting all getting the skip over to uh, to to crystallize the mound. Going to be fighting zero here. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. I'm pretty sure that is where Navy picked up the Dupe Dreamer and Elevator Pass was in Crystallized Mound. Mm -hmm. Definitely not something that you want to be missing with those items where they are. Yeah. Elevator Pass does lock uh, the Crossroads Vessel Fragment. Uh, and unless they're able to find all three of the other Dreamers, um, they're going to really want that, that Dupe Dreamer, I think. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty accessible one too. Mm -hmm. With um you only need you only need C dash, dash claw wings or dash claw or wings claw with a fireball skip, which we didn't quite see potato do. I don't know if uh she had any soul, but we see green picking up shade soul here. Yeah, I don't believe that's the one that Navy got, but that'll be Shade Soul for both teams now. Yeah, I don't believe it is the same one because I don't know if Navy's been to Waterways at all. Yeah, with, I don't. With I don't think they have Swim. Yeah, it, well, it doesn't look like they have Swim either, so maybe something that they're putting off for later once mm -hmm. they have Swim, which I have no clue if they're going to be picking that up anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah, so we do see Navy is... Ahead on the board by a, by a few goals, uh, but they are missing a few of these key items that could be important later on. Now we do see that King's brand that there that uh, green has and blue doesn't, and that's going to be important for Check Void Heart. Again, though they they both teams do need uh, two dashes for that Void Heart goal, as well as the Defeat Traitor Lord in mm -hmm. one dash for, uh, for, there is somewhere on this board, I swear yeah, well, I saw. Yeah, on the, on the board, too. Markoth is on the board as well. That's three that require Shade Cloak. And where was it? Was there uh, not Tiso on this board? There yeah, is Tiso on the board at the bottom. Swat Tiso's shield. That does require a dash, so we'll be seeing plenty of dash movement today. Oh, so I just saw Kali quit out before the Horn Arena. I'm actually a little bit worried. I don't know if they remember that maps are randomized. Yeah. There is a map there and that, that they did not pick up. We'll see if they find out find that out somewhere in the some at some point later in the helper log. Mm -hmm. Helper log showing where items are that they've yet to pick up. And that map is gonna show up on there. Actually, actually, now that I'm thinking, it might not because they don't have, they don't have uh, four keys, four simple keys to have that in logic. So right, yeah, I'm not sure if Kali uses random map mod. It definitely would show up on random map mod still. Mm. I don't believe any of these runners really use map mod. I, at least I haven't. Don't think I've seen any any map mod used from any of the three runners with video yet. Mm -hmm. I have one health a little scary, but pretty safe location to heal. Oh, two health, two health. Okay, that Wraith is going to take care of that. That will fly plenty well enough. Yeah, not sure if we're going to see them going for Fluke Marm right away or just um, trying to head to, to Junk Pit. Um, they will, both teams will need to make a trick to trip to junk pit at some point for defeat any one radiant boss uh, it's something you need to do in god home um but also it means they need to make sure that whoever goes down there has a simple key that they can uh use to open that up yeah a simple key to get down there and most likely a simple key to get into waterways as well which i believe kali used to get in yeah and that's their access 
We see Monomon as well on on the uh, on Blue's side somewhere. I have no clue is where that says. Asian Basin. That that's what I what I see too. I think that might be a Basin check. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it looks it, like it, it looks like Kama's been to Waterways in in the recent past. So yeah, that might that might be something that Green needs to be on the lookout for. Do you want to kind of pull attention really quick? Pure Nail just did the um, Crystal Peak uh, chest uh, without having any horizontal, taking advantage of Dash Master and Sprint Master together to get through those um, pressures. Not something that you see every day. No, not at all. Looks like Pure Nail's coming back to clean up some green path. I wonder if we're going to see him do Hornet as well now, but it doesn't seem like it. Mm -mm. Might be leaving that for later, mm -hmm. which the longer you put that off, the longer you miss Lantern. Yeah. We'll see what how that that ends up panning out for, for Blue. They don't quite need Lantern, but... At the same time, here's a couple items that would be very nice to have Lantern for in yeah. that Joni's Dark Room. We're going to see Navy Team. They pick up the, the swim there. Kama got it in Crossroads. I don't remember exactly where it was. I believe it was at the Gome Journal Entry. Right, right. The Gome Journal Entry. So yeah, that'll be swim for both teams now, which is pretty nice. If they don't find C dash, that's going to be enough to let them get to um, Junk Pit easily. Which is where it looks like we see Kali right now. Junk Pit having, having the uh, having the God Seeker as a check, as well as five entire Geo chests. Mm -hmm. Five entire Geo chests, and of course God Home access, which is what. You come here for usually in vanilla, but not quite what we're looking for right now as we see Crystal Heart and Dreamgate. And Dreamgate. Okay, wow. So that's going to be pretty big for green team. Yeah. It's going to be the first horizontal we see in this seed. It took quite a while to get here. Yeah, we do see C dash. That's going to be some pretty important movement. Going to make things a, just a tiny bit quicker for green team right here. Yeah, and I do Kali. wonder, or I, I would be very surprised to see Kali actually fight any of the, the bosses here in Hall of Gods yet. Um, yeah, we, still, we still have plenty of time to pick up pick up uh, power-ups, pick up charms, and maybe unlock a couple more easier bosses. <laughs> a dash would be very nice for any of these bosses. And so would Shade Cloak. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that bench so that they can bench warp back there um, when they, they need the goal. Looking back at the bingo board, uh, it looks like Blue does have a somewhat sizable lead in goals, having nine up, as opposed to Green's six right now. But at the same time, Green does have those uh, key items that are going to come into play later on that Blue is yet to pick up. Mm -hmm. Also yeah. those Dreamers that Blue has and Green has missed so far. That might come into play later on as well. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. And we'll see where this rando ends up by the end of it. Hopefully. So we see now Kali and Pure Nail looks like are both going to be working on some arresting ground stuff. Um, I believe, yeah, so for the the goal with Tiso, um, you're going to have to go up to, to Kalo at some point. Um, so would not be surprised to see them take that bench early on so they can come back later. Yeah, not quite able to do that because that does require Mothwing Cloak, mm -hmm. believe it or not. And neither team has Mothwing Cloak yet, believe yeah. it or not. Part of the trigger to get Tiso to do the whole storyline that he goes on, uh, you need Dash in order to start that out. Mm -hmm. Only showing up in Dirtmouth after you get Dash and then you have to 
talk to Tiso in Dirtmouth at Crossroads Stag uh, on the left side of Blue Lake, and then he will show up in Kalos, and then you need mm -hmm. to enter a Coliseum, and then you can leave. Yeah, you need to talk to him first on the Kalo bench, and then just enter a, a Kalo, and that will trigger um, Tiso's uh, corpse being there in Kingdom's Edge to find. That'll be the last time you see him alive. Okay, so look, we do see uh, Pyrenail going back to, to fight Hornet and Greenpath now. Mm -hmm. Gonna be seeing that lantern. Just gonna be just gonna be nice to have. Might remind them of uh, of Joni's as well. They did. They have done the peak dark room. Oh, nice job nice uh, by Kali. Uh, it's a little awkward checking quick slash and like the four twenty geo rock without dash. Uh, those spike tunnels can be pretty annoying. Um, thankfully, there's some like pretty generous hazard respawns that let you get to the other side of them. Yeah, pretty generous hazard respawns. Those, those, those um, generous hazard respawns really aren't going to help in uh, this section right here. A lot of aspids, a lot of bees, and a gray hopper to top all of it off, all after you at once. Not easy yeah. to get through, but it does make it. And I do like this routing decision, choosing to come up through the shortcut in order to, to move on to the upper parts of uh, Kingdom's Edge. Yeah, not something you see often. Sometimes useful. Sometimes forgotten. Yeah, so Pyrenail's going to be picking up um, the Shape of Uncheck, uh, something that Green Team wasn't able to do because they, they, like, right after they fought Hornet since they did that so much earlier. And that's going to be their dash, actually. Wow. That's going to be big. That dash is going to be big because... Green doesn't have dash yet, and Blue is going to be using that. It's going to be their. It's going to be their big horizontal. Green right now has a C dash and does not have dash yet, so we have one of each horizontal movement. Uh, one C dash for Green and one Mothwing Cloak for Blue. Again, we do need two uh, dashes on on both teams to finish this seed. Yeah, while we were a little bit worried at first about um, Navy not going back and checking some of those um, checks like Hornet and Joni is, now I'm really worried when Green is going to choose to go back and check Shape of Un. I think that's another one that's very easy to forget, especially with how much of Green Path they've already done. Yeah, I, I believe I didn't see a Lake of Unbench from Green Team. No, I don't think so, because I'm not even sure if they had Ismas at that point. I don't think they did. Or right, really, yeah, they wouldn't had because they had they had vertical before they had Ismas, so it, it is, is possible poss that they did make it with the wings, but I would not be surprised if that wasn't the case. Yeah. So we see an entire army of gray hoppers on Pure Nail screen right there. Using them to get the soul that he needs for these dive floors here. Yeah, we do have uh, read the lore tablet in Kingdoms Edge as a goal on the mm -hmm. bingo board. Uh, Green did do did do that just now. And Navy on their way as well, Pyrenil, with uh, Spore Shroom. I don't know yeah, if he has it equipped, but does have access, doesn't have any trouble making it through that spike tunnel because they do have dash. And dash is pretty useful for getting through that spike tunnel. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where the, the sports room came from. It says it was somewhere in Kingdom's Edge, um, which is pretty convenient. Put it right next to where, where the goal is for it, the goal you need it for. As we see, it looks like Kali going to do Hornet 2. Going to do Hornet 2. Green has not marked visit Queen's Gardens or cast off shell. So we're going to be seeing a cast off shell mark for that goal today. Yeah, that's not something you see very often, especially with one of the players starting in Green Path. I feel like that 
is often uh, the way that people get that goal. It's just taking a, a quick dip into QG for maybe the egg. Maybe you go all the way for the, the corner for bench. Yeah. I think part a part of that maybe because green doesn't have any nail arts yet. I did see uh, blue making it in, navy making it in with a uh, great slash. But I yeah. don't know if green has that yet. Yeah, I don't believe they do, because that was something that we saw Kama picked up in Basin, and I don't think either Potato or Kali have been there yet. Yeah. Yeah, Potato's going to be able to mark off that goal for killing three Umas with a minion charm, um, thanks to, to Grim Child taking care of that. Um, yeah, and as we saw, it was a little scary for Potato, uh... Those Uma cores, of course, dealing double damage. Let me see a hollow mess seal on uh on Kali's end, top right, on green team having defeated Hornet two and gone through the cast off shell, marking that goal, and then getting uh one single hollow nest seal for their efforts yeah, definitely not what you want to to see after spending all that time to get through the the boss especially without dash i think kali is gonna go ahead and work on finishing up edge here making their way up to to the collos which I definitely like looking at these early, especially with so many random obtains uh, still on the board. I think having that knowledge of is this something we're going to have to worry about um, as early as possible is super helpful. Back to the bingo board real quick, it does look like green's somewhat catching up. As soon as I say that, blue marks something, and of course it's Khan, because we can't see what Khan is doing. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like there's only a 2 goal difference, currently a 13 on navy and 11 on green. Have 12 and 14 left. So we're about, we're about halfway done, we don't quite have the pieces for true ending yet. But we do have plenty of movement, especially on Blue's set and with uh, with Dash. We do need another Dash to finish the seed, but with movement, uh, a lot of these checks become a lot quicker to check. We so. do see two big pickups there. Uh, green team is going to pick up Tram Pass in Kingdom's Edge, and it looks like Kama found Lurian in Fungal Waste. And I believe that's three Dreamers for Blue, isn't it? I believe so, but yeah, because they have Monomon, the Dupe Dreamer, and that's going to be their third one there. So yeah, we do we do see we did see uh, Hera from Green, so we do we do have um, all four all four Dreamers within this seed, all picked up already from different mm -hmm. teams. Though also, I don't know if Blue if Navy has any White Fragments yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. We've we've seen one so far i don't remember which team it was that picked it up but i believe it was green that picked up green. that okay yeah i saw that it there in potatoes back. inventory was that in sanctum where they found it i am not entirely sure i'm not entirely sure if i remember as we see navy also picking up that tram pass there as well as the abyss shriek yeah, so that tram pass is super nice for not only the goals that you need it for, um, which are buying the eight map pins and getting that hive mask shard, but it's also just really convenient to have it to get around from basin edge and deep nest. Opens up a lot of new options for routing. Yeah, very nice. Just bench to have for uh, for basin. Not as useful for uh, for edge or or deep nest as there's a couple a couple more accessible benches as Kali picks up Kingsoul here. 
have two white fragments from green team, three dreamers from uh, navy green also having one dreamer. I was able to peek a little bit there on pure nail screen. It looks like we're not going to have to see any callers. Um, assuming GPZ isn't something important. I don't think that's something either team has checked yet. Yeah. Holly did have the option very early on to check um, to check what's there with with going to Breda early, but I don't right. think they did end up doing that. We'll see. Yeah, I don't how that, they did. We'll see how that pays off as we get Pill Lurker kill and we get two straight Kingdom's Edge white fragments as Purnell also going over there. We might see true ending already from blue team if we see this same movement right here as we see awoken dream nail from green in peaks right here the third the third dream nail for green team yeah so navy is gonna be doing pretty good as far as not having very many random obtains left to find i think yeah. once they have this void heart or sorry once they have this king soul they'll be missing one fragment they need their king's brand still and then I think they're just looking for um, lifeblood charms. Mm -hmm. Oh, I and one, one last dash. Yeah, they do need shake cloak, so they're going to be needing that for a few goals as well. But yeah, yeah, definitely not, not a bad that. spot to be in. Not entirely sure if they have that. Um, if they if they have that uh, minion charm either, but that. Shouldn't oh they have, uh, they, have they have yeah, Grim they have Grim 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 yeah. that won't be an issue at all. Let's see Pure Nail now heading over to QG. Uh, I'm pretty sure both teams got QG stag uh, at the totem right before Pale Lurker. I think it was. At least so there was a there was a Queen's Garden stag somewhere around there for mm. each team. They both do have QG stag so. We have similar access to this area right now. It's a very nice one to find. Let's you skip two. Well, let's you skip like one pretty long arena, one shorter one that you probably still want to do anyways. We do see this shopkeeper's key from Navy's end. We'll see. Maybe we'll see what Sly has at for store in us for his second set of items in his shop. I see Kama picked up Shaman Stone. I think it said it was from the Hive. Um, Ooh, so, yeah. That yeah, we that just see Navy like also hive. marked Hive Mask Shard. I wonder if that's actually where um, Shaman Stone was. It might be. It's, okay. some, it's somewhere in Hive. We'll see mm -hmm. what, ha what happens there. It's a little unfortunate for... Pure Nail, I think. I'm not sure if it was their intention, but they have not saved Sly yet, so they're not able to uh, check what's at Shopkeep's key mm. yet. Um, Kama's going to have to be the one to do that. Uh, we do see Pure Nail talk to Tiso, going to start that off. And I thought going to Black Egg, but maybe he is going to go save Sly? Maybe some grubs now, too? Definitely an option. There's... There's a few grubs off to this right end, and you can, uh, even if you haven't opened the gate from below, with Mark of Pride, you can hit that from above, so. We see green team going into QG, QG and Hive as well. You see that cheeky little lever skip there. And immediately, as soon as Pure Nail makes it there, we see a crossroads stag from Navy <laughs> team, always a classic in Rando. Mm -hmm. A stag immediately, as soon as you reach that location. Yeah, so it looks like it was going for that that second Tiso check, actually. Um, and going to be getting this third one at um, the left side of Blue Lake from Resting Grounds. Yeah, we might not. We might see green team actually check shop key for us first, because I think Potato's about to pick that up as well. Yeah, we do see that shopkeeper's key at the soul totem. Gonna be doing a couple checks up, a couple checks up here first. 
Yeah, I imagine we're going to see pretty similar things here from green team as what we just saw Navy do, because Kali's over here on uh, lower part of Kingdom's Edge, probably going to be heading into Hive next. Looks like it heading into Hive as we see Pyrenel taking out Zero and Potato taking out uh, the check <laughs> in 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 QG and Kama. Who knows what Kama's doing? He's doing great. I will. I I believe he's doing great. <laughs> you see a life with charm at Sly. That's gonna nice. be good and a lot of essence. Yeah, not something that they need to worry about. That life, but the life would. Yeah. yeah, that could be very important. Do you need two of those by the end of this, Rando? Have in the top left corner obtained two lifeblood charms. Of course, those are lifeblood heart, lifeblood core, and Joni's blessing. All randomized, all somewhere on the map. Potentially some in White Palace, if that ends up being a thing. Yeah, so it's really unfortunate. Green Team's still going without Dash here. Yeah. Dash was pretty long. Yeah, and I can't say I'm all that surprised considering where we saw Navy get their dash from. It's yeah, they do have Shade big... Cloak. They do have Shade Cloak. I believe that's in Deep Nest. Oh, yeah, they just picked that up. I do think that says Deep Nest, huh? So that'll be something to look forward to. Yeah, depending on where that was, possibly something that both teams could have had really early, uh, given the, the fungal start. Given the fungal start, the the early claw, the early wings, it could be something that they had very early, very early, especially with that uh, early lantern as well. At least early, yeah. early access to that lantern with green actually picking it up somewhat early. I will say, at the very least, uh, the sprint master dash master combo has been pulling a lot of weight for both teams. Honestly, a lot of weight. All right, yeah, we do see that Shaman Stone at the Hive Mask Shard. Green Team's going to pick that up now. <laughs> and it's a Shaman Stone 5. Of course it's a Shaman Stone 5. It has to be because I said it was going to be. Yep. <laughs> we, have, we have five uh, squits on potato screen. <laughs> <laughs> we have an entire crowd sitting there to get Dovin. Dovin and Shade Sold. Dovin and Shade Sold. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised Potato was even able to get five squids up there. Like, I feel like I you need to bring the the two from before the arenas like over to even do that. <laughs> I think so. I think there's one. There's two before the arena, two inside, and two that spawn once you actually start it. So, you need at least one from outside. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive feat. So we head to some stag somewhere on Potato's end. Back at Queen Station, it looks like. Queen, Queen Station potentially going into Deep Nest from mm -hmm. here, since I don't think we've seen Deep Nest from either player on green. Kali tried to go over there once, but Near Death decided not to do that. Yeah. Might also see uh, this relic over here on, on the right. Love, lovingly dubbed with the name Palm Relic. Yeah, shout out to, to Palm for restreaming this match as well and uh, doing just a whole lot of work to, to set up this whole tournament. Absolutely. Big shout out to, to Palm. Unfortunately, nothing really important there at that at that Wander's Journal. Only being three Lifeblood Masks, not really useful, especially with a Lifeblood Charm already. I see. So that's going to be Monomon there for, for Kali. It was at the Abyss map. Uh, glad to see that they did actually check that, that map there. Absolutely. Map's not something that you always that you always remember to check, especially mm -hmm. when you have don't have them off most of the time. We see that Isma's as well. Yeah. Monomon important because that's also a goal on the bingo board right in the middle there, obtain Monomon. So that's one that's required for both teams. Navy getting it a bit earlier. 
and green gang get just now. Tito going to check. It's force room. There's nothing there. Kali yeah, already Kali went there. Picked that one up. You see, oh, blue just going for goals at this point. I don't think they really need anything. They just yeah, I mean, they just need King's Brand. King's Brand, and they're still missing Lifeblood Charms. I'm not sure if they have mm. one already. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I think green has one, and that's the only one we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Let me see Kali skipping with... the lifeblood core room. Yeah, did they, did Kali leave a dream gate up there? I actually I don't that. believe so. Okay. Yeah, so They're that just... might be something they're going to just plan to go back there yeah not really a fun area to go through if you don't have dash you do see the dupe dive giving 100 extra geo not much in the way of anything useful at this point though yeah it's pretty unfortunate having to to go through abyss without having shade cloak there's a lot of checks that you're just kind of have to miss out on mm. and come back for later Minimum two, we have Void Heart, we have the Void Tendril journal entry, which mm -hmm. is sometimes forgotten. That requires Shade Cloak. And we also have the Shade Cloak Arcane Egg, though we do also have Void Heart. Green, at the very least, also has Void Heart, so they don't quite need that. Yeah, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be a very useful trip into, into Abyss there for green team. I'm a little disappointed to see Potato's already back uh, out of Deep Nest. We don't know where exactly it is, but there's a dash somewhere in Green pa or sorry, in Deep Nest, and something that would help them out a lot for sure. Honestly, Green is just looking for any dash right now. They yeah. need they need a dash for speed they also need a dash to finish the seed they need two dashes for those shade cloak shade gate goals and it especially feels bad at this point like you know your opponent has already done traitor lord and markoth like you know that they have shade cloak you know that they have shade cloak there's the shade cloak somewhere and there's there's at least two dashes somewhere and i don't know if there's uh dash dupes but yeah there's two dash dupes so two dupes. four in total which is why it's been pretty surprising how hard they've been to find yeah they've been hard to get we were an hour in and we've only seen two of the four from four players total as we do oh. see lifeblood core on... yeah potato <laughs> picking it up right after pure nail or at least heading that direction Hmm. Yeah, there it is. That second lifeblood charm for green. That is one leg up that they have on uh, that they have on blue team on navy team. One leg up, and the other leg is that king's brand right now. Yep. That's in lifeblood core, or rather Joni's, which I don't believe navy has gone to get yet. Even though they do, they do have lantern. Yeah, and they've and... had lantern for a while. It's not something that you usually go back for. It's pretty far from benches. As we see a dash flash there that maybe team also picked up. Potato picking up right now. In a way, I almost wonder if picking up that dash right after they got lantern um, may have pushed them away from going back and checking Joni's. It's definitely possible. Definitely possible. I don't think uh, I don't think Green has done any uh, any abyss goals yet. I, I think that Void Heart is the only goal down there. Mm -hmm. So they so Navy doesn't know that Green has that has that King's brand. They don't know that it's somewhere accessible very very early on in the season. Yeah. They could just honestly be looking for that right now. Going to do just one-off checks. 
unfortunately, we're not really able to see where, where Kama is right now. Oh, and that's going to be uh, the fourth uh, white fragment there. That, um, they're going to pick up and a deep focus. Yeah. Three so it's nice. total yeah. white fragments. And that's what you need for true ending. And we might be seeing that Joni's right now as well. Yeah, that's Pure Nail back in um, in Cliffs, and I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that they they've left here. Yeah, we also see though Potato going into going into Mound, so we're going to be seeing whatever's in there pretty soon. I believe there was something important. I think it might have uh, been the Dupe Dreamer. Elevator pass and a Dupe Dreamer, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna see PE at the very least from both teams right now. Hmm. Yeah, we did see uh Kali did just pick up uh Lurian. It looks like it was at Elder Who. Mm-hmm. Uh which I think Kama did earlier. We didn't get to to see where it was from. Yeah, and Purinel going down here. In three, two, one, and there's that King's Brand. That's going to yep. be the last thing that they... Never mind, they still need a Lifeblood Charm. Only one more Lifeblood Charm, yep. One Lifeblood Charm that I don't quite remember where it was. Was it at Sly? I don't know. I don't yes, think it was, they... it was at Sly with Shopkeep's Key, which they have. Gone, they haven't yeah. gone to Sly yet, and that might just be what they need right now. Wow. They need the They need that Lifeblood Charm. There is one other charm still out there. Joni's Blessing uh, could be a way out for them if they don't remember to go back and check that Sly key. Uh, but again, that's something we have no idea where that is. Yeah, green team not having any dash still definitely hurts. Not having that mobility is a big thing in these rando races, especially Especially when one team has two dashes already. Yeah, and it's had it for quite a long time. It looks like Potato's going to go back and finish checking Divine. I don't think we ever saw um, the last two of these checks. Yeah. One Pale Ore behind, behind, I believe, that's uh strength for 600 i believe is heart and i think strength costs 650 750 yeah you're right 750. okay My apologies. yeah kind of an unfortunate uh way that the divine shop works is you can't like see the next one until you've uh actually bought the check uh so in order to, to check what strength has the potato needs to go back to the bench take off heart put on strength, and then come back. Yeah, not quite anything useful there. As I, I think Kali's going to be going to do White Defender Dashless. Mm -hmm. That'll be an interesting fight to watch. We do get yeah. a Charm Notch that we can't quite really use right now. Yeah, and White Defender is way. meant to be a pretty late game fight. Doing it without any Doing it without Shade Cloak and especially doing it with no dash uh, is pretty rough. Yeah, and I don't believe they have, uh, I don't believe they have, uh, what is it called? Uh, Shaman Stone either right now. Which definitely hurts, and I don't think they have any nail upgrades either. Don't think they've burned those yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if we just missed it, uh, Kali picking, like, accepting them. It's a pretty quick menuing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kali doing a pretty good job so far of getting in a lot of damage. We've seen quite a few shrieks, uh, plenty of Shade Souls. A little bit of an awkward bounce off the gate I to the left there. I think going to help them get up around that attack. Getting a little bit of damage from that Defender's Crest on, on the stagger. Might not really make a difference though. Two health, a little scary. Not really many opportunities to heal on this boss fight. And again, that lack of dash is hurting. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Wait, able to take a heal? 
Yeah, a couple more awkward bounces. Gonna be looking at a heal here in the corner. Is he gonna right. be able to get it off? Back to two at the very least. Two still not something enough to be. Not quite enough to be um, comforting, but we do get that that kill. The white defender defeated, and it looks like it looks like navy team also beat white defender. And yeah, we'll see what that gives. Yeah, very well done from from Kali there. Unfortunately, it's just going to be a swim for them. It's just going to be a swim. Yeah, I do know. I I didn't see where exactly it was, but blue team did find a third dash. Now it was in Abyss, but I'm not sure where. In Abyss, um, yeah. It they did check Void Heart, so it might be behind that Shade Cloak. Well, I don't think they did Void Heart climb, so I don't think it would have been that one. Uh, for mm. for the goal to check Void Heart, you don't actually need to do the whole climb; just preview the check there. Uh, but either way, that's pretty unfortunate for Green. Like, you don't really want to make your way all the way, um, like past the the lighthouse, um, if you're not going to be able to get all the checks because you don't have Shade Cloak. Yeah, even missing that one Void Tendrils check. That can be annoying to go for, and there yeah. might be, who knows, there might be something important there. We do see Potato going through Deep Nest, though, and we do know of a dash in Deep Nest, so. Yeah, not sure where exactly it is, but hopefully they're going to find it pretty soon here. Pretty soon here. I will say green team is doing a very good job of keeping it close on the board still um, despite not having dash they're doing a good job of making sure they have these rest of these goals uh crossed out so once they do have dash and they're in go mode they'll be able to to finish up pretty quickly hopefully yeah it looks like uh navy has 21 goals out of 25 green has 20 uh total uh, Navy just now going to 22. Need three goals to finish. Obtain two lifeblood charms. Kill three Umas using a minion charm. And check uh, free all grubs in Crossroads and Fog Canyon. All of Which those I... not an issue except for that lifeblood charm. They still haven't gone to, they still haven't gone to Sly once they got that shopkeeper ski, and that's where yeah. one of them is. And who knows where Joni's could be. A little unfortunate for the restream, uh, Kama being the one who saved Sly, we're not even going to be able to know uh, w if he does decide to go back and check, check um, what Sly has. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to see whenever we see, if we see at all, a lifeblood core in Nail's recent items. Mm -hmm. And also at the same time, green team. Green team on the board, they have uh, five goals left. Uh, Defeat anyone, Radiant Boss is still on the board. They could do that right now. The other four goals all require dash. So we have uh, Swat Tiso's shield away from his corpse. That requires dash. That's in Kingdom's Edge. And then defeat Traitor Lord, defeat Markoth, and check Void Heart. All at the same time, also requiring Shade Cloak. Yes. So we're going to be seeing that. We're going to see, at the very least, two more dashes in this seed. Maybe a third if we see blue team pick that last one up or maybe mm. green team potato continuing their way through deep nest hopefully gonna find their first dash here soon hopefully somewhere yeah we even see green team is uh doubling up on it of course they don't know there's a dash here uh we know because we've been able to see both teams um but hopefully they're going to pick this up pretty soon. Let me see a trap bench here from Kali. Yeah, opting not to take the, the shortcut up above. Uh, you do start a little bit closer to some of the checks by doing it this way. And getting to the shortcut can be a little bit awkward without dash. It is possible with C dash. Yeah. Um, but I could definitely see it being something that you're not very comfortable going with. And blue team, Pyrnell defeating No Eyes and finding that Jonies. Wow. Finding that Jonies, that's the last thing that they need. They have 25 goals. 
they have true ending, so all they need to do now is defeat Radiance and they're done. And green team's still not finding that dash, and that's the only reason that they haven't finished just yet, is they don't have a dash, and they need two of those, still, of four. And we're oh, well over an hour in, and they still don't have a dash, somehow. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. But again, keeping the race as close as it is right now without having... Well, there it is. Now they finally have the dash. They have a single in. dash. They have a single dash behind that Zoda Arena. And we still need one more. Again, we need that Shade Cloak for a couple of these goals on the board. As Purnil and presumably Kama both going into PHK, into Black Egg to fight PHK and then Radiance. Yeah, unfortunately, it's looking like it would take multiple uh, THK Radiance deaths at this point to give Green a time to catch up. Yeah, Green able to check that Hera check before without having to go into the Dream, so a little bit of time saved there, but not. it's still not Dash, and they need that Shade Cloak. Doubling up on checks, just looking for that Shade Cloak, not even going for that uh, Radiant Boss that's still on the board. Yeah, but I, I think that makes sense at that point. Like, with so many of the other goals locked behind finding a Shade Cloak, like, that needs to be the priority. Yeah, and they have True Ending. At this point, that second dash is all they need. I find it interesting that... Their, that their go, mo go mode, their last two things that they needed to complete the seed are Mothwing Cloak and Shade Cloak. Yeah, that's... It's like, certainly a way to finish a seed. Kind of the see. worst case scenario for a, for a blackout race like this. Absolutely. And it looks like Kali's starting to, starting to clear out these goals. As we do get in um, in our race chat, a GG from Kama. So we just need just need to watch this 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 last uh, these last parts of the rate of the fight from Pyrenail here going mm -hmm. into the climb. Six health should be plenty, and that's not me trying to calm scores. It should be plenty. <laughs> As, as someone who ran PE, and that is GG. Pyrenel taking out Radiance. Yeah, very well played from blue team. Um, I know we didn't see commas, but just based on the rate that uh, items are coming in to, to Pyrenel's um, screen, it seemed like he was playing very well. Yeah, it's very unfortunate for green team uh, not being able to find that uh, those dashes for so long. Yeah. Going to be looking for those for a little longer. Hopefully, maybe find to get somewhere. Yeah, from what we know so far, um, one of them is at Shape of Un, and there's one somewhere in Abyss, um, either... At Void Heart or um, Shade Cloak, the Arcane Egg, or it could be the. Um... Actually, now I'm thinking about it. We didn't see Kali actually go into the Lifeblood Core Room, yeah. did we? I don't think we did. And it could be one of those two checks. There's Lifeblood Core, the charm itself, as well as the Arcane Egg there. So it could be one of those two checks. Mm -hmm. And that is accessible. They do have Lifeblood Heart and they do have. Lifeblood pickups and item sync. So that is an option that they could take. Who knows? It could be in there. We did see the dash from the abyss, but we didn't see quite which check it was. And of course, there is that elusive fourth dash somewhere in the world, maybe. Yeah. 
hopefully somewhere accessible to green team and not like at the end of white palace or in path of pain or something like that I mean, who knows with dupes it could it, it could very much be somewhere along those lines somewhere that either requires dash or is at the end of white palace we are going to see that uh dupe void heart here i believe from uh potato not really mm -hmm. what they need right now though Having a little bit of trouble here getting to, to deep focus. And there is that dupe void heart there at deep focus. Again, they don't really need it at this point. It just it's just a hundred geo to burn somewhere. Where if you look in the top right, Kali already has ten thousand. They don't need any more really for anything meaningful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will see Kali um, using some of this time to get ahead on some of the goals that are still left on the board. Yeah, one um, thing we I don't think we've seen at all is the is the nailsmith. I yeah, believe, right. Those... I believe nail upgrades are randomized. Yes, nail upgrades are randomized. So the nailsmith can have items to pick up. So it is possible that we do have a dash there. We haven't seen any of the items there this seed yet, so... Yeah, not sure, of course, if Kama um, ever went mm -hmm. and did that. Uh, which I think Kama was probably the one who did Sanctum, right? Because I don't think we saw that from Pure Nail. I believe so. I can check the logs within the Bingo Sync. Mm -hmm. Real quick. And it does look like Kama did do Soul Sanctum. So I think Kali here getting a little bit uh, thrown off with the Tiso quest line. I think that they haven't talked to, to Tiso at Blue Lake yet. Mm -hmm, I don't believe so. Okay, I think they might realize that they're going to leave their Dream Gate here for later while they go finish that up. So going through Upper Deep Nest. And finding a city crest, which I don't think uh, blue either blue didn't find or was late enough that it wasn't impactful in the slightest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean blue team they they found King Station and then uh, Elevator Pass pretty early on. That that kind of sorted any needs for for city access. And we see Potato going through Weaver's Den, getting in Gathering Swarm. It's not a, it's not a Shade Cloak. It's not a Shade Cloak, and they need a say they need a Shade Cloak right now. And that's a Dream Shield again, not a Shade Cloak. Again, we haven't seen the the fourth dash if there is one. So there is there, one. There is one. Okay. So that could be anywhere, and. It could be any check that we haven't seen from uh, Blue's End, though they do they have it looks like checked uh, sixty something percent of the seed. I am so sorry, I cannot read that. That is some ant text right there. I think it's sixty five. Oh well, 65. actually, I can see in the chat. Pure Nail typed a sixty six with sixty six uh, with okay. the GG. So yeah, trying to see sixty six percent for a blackout TE is. A pretty pretty low i would say um, yeah i did um because i was curious i did do the math a couple months ago on the average uh clear for a, for a blackout seed um for for not a blackout seed a true ending a true seed ending. and with some pretty simplified math um i did see that it was around 83 ish percent of the seed that you need to, wow they okay. need to clear is that accounting so, for for dupe dreamers and uh dupe fragment that is accounting for is it accounting for dupe dreamers i believe it is not actually wait okay let me think was it actually i think it might have been i'm not entirely sure there was one number that was and that and one number that wasn't 
Okay. I think actually, yeah, there, there that is accounting for dupes, and any percent actually only requires around 50 to 60 percent. So at the same time, there are shops and there are other item previews that, that push that uh, percentage of actually acquired items a bit lower. Yeah, right. Being able to see multiple at once like that. Yeah, shops uh, shops that are checked, um, items that are checked but not obtained, such as Void Heart, for example. Uh, the Void Heart check, you can just... Mm -hmm. You can just look at what the item is and then not pick it up, and that doesn't count as a percent of... as part of the completion obtained for Rando with Rando. Uh, checking for the number of items obtained compared uh, compared to the number of items randomized. Looks like a Navy team only ended up picking up 228 out of 376. And we see a third nail art, I think? Is that a third nail art or is that a second? I think it might it's be a second. It's at least a second. Okay, yeah, they don't have Cyclone yet. Kali showing us there in their inventory. So not quite NMG just yet. Which, that would be a very rude place to find this fourth dash if it's at NMG. Mm -hmm. Number five is cleared. Okay. Thank you for the clarification there. Again, at this point, green does have claw... And they just does have uh, dash rather, and that does speed up things a little bit. But mm -hmm. again, to finish, they still need that shade cloak. They still need that shade cloak, and they don't know where that shade cloak is. And um, I'm so sorry, uh, we don't know where that shade cloak is either. Yeah. <laughs> we do know there's one in the abyss, and. I have no clue where I can't remember where the other uh, one was. Shape of Un is the other one. Shape of Un, Shape of Un is the other one, which Kali is going through Green Path, so we might end up seeing that potato also in Green Path. Yeah, it looks like probably going to Shio first here, but if they if they've set their their sights on Green Path, this may mean that they're going to be heading to to that soon. Yeah, though I don't think. They are Kali warping out somewhere. Well, I don't think Kali didn't start in uh, Green Path, so oh, it wouldn't make much sense for for them to be the one to to check Shape of On, anyways. Oh, they were doing MMC for the Radiant Boss. I see. That makes sense. Where's yeah, honestly, to... Radiant Boss is one of my favorite goals on the bingo board, just because there's so much flexibility with which boss you decide to go for. A lot of flexibility, and you can you can kind of see the players, uh, the players like personalities on which boss they choose. Kali just deciding to whack the the green mossy boy a couple times. Thankfully, look, you get kind so... of a a practice round in. Uh, you need to do the boss on ascended before you unlock the the radiant um, fight. Um, so it kind of gives you a chance to, to get used to it. Quick quick practice round before the real thing, and probably going to be going to do something. Potato also in deep really nest. Quick. <sighs> yeah, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping we were going to see the, the rest of the green path clear. Who knows, we might see that Wake of Un once Kali's finished with MMC, but I'm not really sure if that's going to happen. Who knows? Yeah. And we see a wild comma killer in chat mentioning, quote, I like my restream. <laughs> what we don't like is that MMC death unfortunate from Kali there. Yeah, and we thankfully it's see... right at the start of the fight. Didn't waste much time with it. Didn't waste much time, just going right back into it. Potato going through Mantis Village here a little bit. Might be something. In... I'm pretty sure Kama already did this, but I'm not completely sure. 
I know for sure that Kama did Fungal Core. Um, and I think they probably did Mantis Lords too, but I guess we'll see. Mm. And there is that uh, MMC Radiant defeated. And they really just need those three goals. Check Voidheart, yep. defeat Markoth, defeat Traitor Lord, all requiring Shade Cloak. And that Shade Cloak is what they're looking for, what they've been looking for for really the past hour. <laughs> they have, they've been looking for a dash at the very least for the past whole seed really yeah. and they haven't found a they haven't found a second one to finish the seed just yet yeah at the very least as soon as they do find it they're gonna be pretty well set up to finish it off um kali has benches in kingdom's edge will make it easy to get to markoth i believe kali still has their dream gate in abyss um right by right above the birthplace entrance uh, and qg stag means that they'll be able to get to trader lord quickly as well mm -hmm. pretty simple ways to get to each of them they really just need a way to get to them we see the rest of these Basin checks from Kali. We see three Mantis Swords checks from Potato. We'll see if any of these is that... Uh, we'll see if any of these uh, four checks coming up is that elusive fourth dash. Yeah. 71%. That actually sounds pretty... That sounds pretty... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 71% for uh, for the average true ending 71 player. 71 percent sounds pretty accurate to rando TEs that I've blackout TEs that I've played before. Mm -hmm. Of course, the the blackout part of it um, can often make it take uh, a lot longer, but. Yeah, having done no math, 71%, um, that, that seems around what I would expect. In that case, 66% uh, sounds pretty, pretty sound, mm -hmm. because that is 66% without previews um, and without shops. We see Potato going into White Palace here. They've had access for quite a while. There could be that fourth, the elusive fourth dash somewhere in there. Of yep. course, uh, the, any dash other than the first does not, by logic, require dash. Uh, or does, do, can require dash. So it is entirely possible that it's somewhere in White Palace, even in Path of Pain, if yep. the seed so desires. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, when it comes to, to dupes, like, it's hard to, or I mean, impossible to know most of the times when you're playing the seed if the item you find is the the logical one or one of the, the dupes. Uh, but the dupes can be placed anywhere. Like, it is not, un, it's not unheard of to find a claw that is completely claw locked uh, when you're playing with dupes. Yeah, sometimes you just find a claw in Fungal Core and you're like, how am I supposed to get that? And it's with Claw. With Claw. And we do see Kali going into Abyss with six lifeblood. We'll see if this lifeblood core room is where that where that third dash is. Mm -hmm. The one that was in Abyss for Navy team. We'll see. We do have two checks in here, so. We have two chances. Yep. Here's one right here. Stag nest stag. We do we did check that earlier, so not quite something that's helpful. Readily helpful right now. And the second one is a wanderer's journal. So not quite anything useful there. 
Dang, so it's looking pretty likely that that dash in abyss is uh locked by shade cloak shade cloak yeah yeah it's now four checks left in abyss for green team two of them locked by by shade cloak two of them that aren't looks like Kali is going to go ahead and make their way over to uh the lighthouse and pass that for the the check that they can get yeah they do uh, we did we do um we are assuming somewhat that the shade cloak isn't at void heart because that's just a check void heart goal and you just need to check it and even if there's a shade cloak there you're probably not getting it for that dupe 100 yeah, geo blue team wouldn't really have a, a reason to do it at that point yeah of course over to the right here this shade cloak is isn't locked by shade cloak and neither is the egg because that, they have void heart because they do have void heart but the uh void tendrils journal entry is and that it, who knows it could be there potato making it through wow and maybe a dupe man to <laughs> flaw. A flaw and a god, god tutor. tutor that is so unfortunate it is it is one of the it is one of the two Shade cloak locked checks. We ha we effectively have three dashes this seed. Yeah. And I mean, we don't know where the fourth one is still. Like we for all we know, it's it could be Void Heart still. For all it we know, it could be Void Heart. But... Yeah, that really hurts to see. We just need to hope for that. We just need to hope for that. Um. That one of them goes for that uh, Lake of Un yeah. shade cloak, or I mean, finds the potato, lose the fourth one. Yeah, with Potato being occupied with White Palace here, and presumably Path of Pain, I think it's unlikely we're gonna see Kali um, head through parts of Green Path that Potato already cleared just to get to to Lake of Un. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be here for a little while longer, at the very least. I don't think... Did we see Watcher Knights? I believe I, we actually did see Watcher Knights. From Pure Nail. I, I, I cannot remember. I don't know, Watcher Knights way, tend to go pretty quick in randos. Yeah, randos. Especially with with nail upgrades and with shaman stone although i don't know if they have shaman stone on right now yeah i'm not sure about that yeah first claw at queen station stag found a dupe claw at uh, shade cloak claw was very early this scene and so was wings Oh, Shade Cloak. So, so the two other dashes that we know of right now is there's one at Shape of Un, and there seems to be one at Void Tendril Journal Entry. And there's an elusive fourth one that we don't quite know where that is yet. It could, for all we know, be behind the Void Heart Abyss, a birthplace climb. So yeah, we are going to see Potato looks like heading down to Path of Pain. We do have eight checks in Path of Fame. We have the seven soul totems. And we have the journal entry for the seal of binding at the very end there. We'll see how that choice pans out for them as we see mm -hmm. Kali going up, Watcher Spiral, Spire. Excuse me. Also, three checks up here. We have 85 Geo. We have Cyclone That's Slash. And I'm not looking that at the spoiler. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't want to know yet either. <laughs> yeah, so that is gonna let green team check NMG. Uh, maybe we see a dash there. It's unlikely, but it's possible. It's possible. There is that elusive fourth dash still again. 
could be at NMG. It could be anywhere in White Palace. Or it, again, could be at Void Heart. Which that would really hurt if it's there. That's just that's just a worst case scenario. Because at that point, they have to go check Lake of Un. Yeah. I don't like that reaction. We, we have we have a little chat for our um, <laughs> for people in the uh, in the tournament, and and I and we see we see a spoilered message with a mention to our restreamer, our dear restreamer Palm, and a response from Palm that says, "quote Holy shit, LMAO." And that does not bode very, bode very well really for doesn't. this last Shade Cloak location. <laughs> As we see Kali going through waterways here. Going yeah, to the left, going to the map corner. That they had it mm -hmm. Perhaps also going to save Breta while they're here. I don't think we've seen... I don't think we have. Yeah, and, I, and same, we haven't seen what GPZ has, which, if it's there, that's, like, it's good to know where it is, of course, but that's so slow to have to go do all of Call of One just to get access to it. Yeah, not quite, not quite a shade cloak, it's only a soul refill from the corner for here, not quite as bountiful of a map cartographer as he sometimes is. Let me give you a measly shade still here. We do have one skull totem here, an arcane egg on Potato's side. Yeah, not very many checks left in, in Path of Pain now for Potato. We have, I believe... Three more with this soul totem. I it lagged for a quick second. I thought it might be something important. It's the elegant yeah. key, which does give two checks. It's not nothing, but and Kali's gonna be checking that immediately, expeditiously. Mm. Gonna be using that key going in to the to the elegant key soul warrior arena. Finding everyone's favorite Norman. Having a little trouble getting this C dash off at the start of Path of Pain. So yeah, not gonna eight, dunk for it at least. A third fireball. Bit of a, a French vanilla check there. Just shifting around where that fireball is. Right next to the vanilla. And we have a compass. And we have a we do have a compass from green team. We did not see that from Navy team. And that is GG's for compass percent. Unfortunately, this is not compass percent. This is blackout TE. And that blackout does require that shade cloak. Yeah, I feel like it's almost rando mocking them at that point. Like Honestly, it's just salt in the wounds. Yeah. There is there's, 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 there's just an entire there's a just entire ocean of salt in their wounds right now. That's really important. Potato twice pogoing and hitting the, the spikes up on the roof there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, me included, sometimes do Path of Pain pretty quickly. It's not easy. It's it's not easy. It's the hardest platforming uh it's the hardest platforming challenge in this game for a reason. Yeah. And especially in Randu, like you need to get used to doing it not with ideal equipment. Um so it's not really the same as doing just Path of Pain IL speedruns. Yeah, and you do you don't do it you don't like skip it very often. Uh, sometimes you do skip it, and honestly, most of the time you probably do. But in Blackout Tees, there's eight items in there with these settings. Yeah. There's a lot. So not something that you that you skip too often. Yeah, well done by Potato to get that done. All for a deep nest map. Of course it's a deep nest map. Or no, I think 
Oh yeah, yeah, the deep nest map there. <laughs> Kali picking up Shape of Un, which I feel like at this point is just uh, Rando making fun of us commentators now. Yeah, we know where it is. We know it's at Shape of Un. <laughs> Gosh, that's Shape of Fun. There's, they have to go there at some point. Yeah, I mean, There's... they're running out of things to do. We see Kali is diligently checking Rando Map Mod, trying to see what they have left to do. You have, it's, please scroll. It's just a little bit farther to the left. Let's go through in Special Mound, though. I believe there was something in here, but I don't think it was uh immediately important yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure it looked like soul catcher had already been grabbed so i'm not sure what got uh left behind here mm -hmm. looks like that soul totem wasn't checked no it was probably they just saw the soul totem maybe didn't go over to hit it won't show yeah. up as cleared on rando map mod Definitely even though you know it's nothing important All right, going down through White Palace. White Palace only having two more checks. We have one Soul Totem at the very end, as well as the King Fragment, which is a previewable item. I don't didn't quite see it, but I don't think it is a Shade Cloak, because otherwise Potato would just be rushing that right now. Right. Don't think we would have seen Path of Pain if uh, they knew that there was a Shade Cloak at the, the King's Fragment. Yeah, looking at Kali's map mod, they're running out of checks. We're running out do. of checks. Running out of checks. Running out of time. We have been going for almost two hours now. It's pretty long yeah. for these blackout TEs. But again, when you're stuck looking for just one last random obtain, it's not surprising to see that it's taking so long. Yeah. You see a simple key from that soul totem and immediately just warping out. They already know it's not anything important there. You see potato and crossers now. Not sure what they have left here to to check. Oh, fail, fail champ, champ probably. And Kali going for Loskin as well. Loskin, yeah. Just a couple. Just they have they have. They do have options. They still have options to go mm -hmm. for. Again, yeah, we know Kali never run. did Tyrant uh, during that like first Sanctum trip, so that's another thing yeah. they have to the maybe go back to. The entire Grim quest, they neither of them have done, so that's also an option for if they do end up needing that. Well, thankfully, uh, with Rando, you don't have to do the the flames um, mm -hmm. in order to fight True Master Grim, uh, and NKG shouldn't have any any checks i don't um, believe so no yeah so yeah grim will be one uh one item but thankfully not too too long of one to get yeah especially with shriek and shaman here but that yeah. shaman is pretty heavy five notches is not something that you really want to be seeing yeah i think the see. grim child was two or three notches as well so Trying to put both of those if you are going to fight Grim is pretty annoying. Yeah. Hungry spells, hungry child. Yeah. Yeah, see, both of uh, our green team runners just getting through these uh, dream bosses. Thankfully, with these void spells, and I think I know Kali at least has pure nail already. Not sure if Potato does as well. Um, should help them get through them pretty quick, hopefully. I do see Potato taking a death to fail, champ. Yeah. It's unfortunate. A little unfortunate. Getting to refill on Soul before heading back in, I think, is a 
smart choice. Kali, on the other hand, finishing that fight. And getting a soul refill. Very Thanks, helpful. <laughs> very helpful. It's not very helpful. Especially at the beginning of the fight, right, even before Tato starts that field champ. And we do see Bretta, Bretta saved here. Going to be seeing whatever is going to be at um, at GPZ, as well as the Bretta Mass Shard check itself. Mm -hmm. We did uh, we did have access here pretty early on. Yeah, so I mean, with Kali starting, Kali and Kama starting in Fungal, and they found Claw and Wings so early. Really, Claw and Wings? They did have access. Not quite the very, not quite the nicest access they could have asked for, but it's access. And potato fi finishing that field champ fight as well. See a king's idol and oh my gosh, oh, a shape right. cloak at GPC. <laughs> Was Kali the one that saved? So I don't think they were. No, I'm pretty sure it was Potato. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so in order to fight GPZ, uh, you need to save Zode in Deep Nest and then go through all of Kala 1 uh, in order to unlock this fight. All of Kala 1. <laughs> that Kali is... hasn't saved Zode and Potato hasn't been to Kala, so this is an entire ordeal for either of mm -hmm. them, depending on who decides to do it. And as an added bonus, you can't enter the fight without wings, so that's not an issue for either of them right now. Yeah. After almost two hours of random, that shouldn't really be an issue for either of them. But also, not having hour... shape folks shouldn't really be an issue two yeah. hours into a rando. Two hours into a rando, you're usually going to find at least two of four dashes. Especially with an item sync with two people. Yeah, but, I mean, based on these locations, like... We can see why they're having so much trouble. Yeah. One one Shade Cloak at GPZ and another Shade Cloak locked. Yeah. And the Shape of Unwon, again, is a check that's not, like, one that people commonly do very early. It's a, a single check pretty far out of the way. A one-off that you don't really ever think about. Yeah. Especially when you don't have anything to do over there. You, you mm -hmm. fight Hornet, you get Lantern, and then you head out, and you don't think of that area ever again. Yep. And yeah, based on how they're they're playing now, it looks like they're deciding to not go for the uh, Shade Cloak that GPZ has. Uh, at least really? not quite yet. <sighs> Which, I do kind of understand. At this point, you're probably I mean... thinking, Kama and Pier Nail, they had Shade Cloak so early... Um, like, relatively speaking, like, they were able to defeat Marka, they were able to do Traitor Lord, they were able to check Void Heart. Um, it, it, it's that shape they, of one. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, like, <laughs> it's likely that they don't think that Blue Team did all of GPZ. Are we, are we going to see the shape of unplay play from Potato here? Oh, it is possible. Is it finally time? Please. Is it finally time to get this Shade Cloak and not the one at GPZ? Yeah, and it's really it. rough to see it play out like this. Like, Green Team did a really great job of keeping the board close even without having dash, but at the end of the day, that's kind of just rando. It is kind of just rando. Rando giveth and rando taketh away. And it taketh away pretty heavily. As a reminder, this is a tournament race. And in a double double elimination setting, that is going to be one L on their record. They only need one more to be eliminated. As as a uh, Navy team does move on with a winning record. Yeah, here is potato is potato. finally gonna pick it up. 
but it really hurts to see the way that... Yeah, it was a long time uh, coming, and that is go mode from green team. Entire seed and a half. And they're just rushing those three goals. Again, Traitor Lord, Markoth, and checking Void Heart. Yep. None of those really too much of a hassle, especially with all these upgrades after two hours of randoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think both of them coming in with full uh, Void spells, Pure Nail, should be able to make quick work of the bosses. Both of them just ready to be done, honestly, probably. Yeah. Tito going to go take out Trader Lord first, and Kali going over to Markoth. Probably also taking out, um, knocking out that vo check Void Heart goal after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not sure if they still kept that um, Dream Gate in Abyss from all that time ago, but even if not, it's not a long trip to, to get back there from the bench. And there is that Markov done from Kali's side. You see Potatoes. Potato going in here. Hello. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Looks like we'll get a see now. Yeah, Kali just going to take the bench back. Uh, must have used... Or no, does have the Dream Gate. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't have a Dream Gate anywhere near. Doesn't have the Dream Gate. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and we do see Potato taking out Trader Lord. So what we're probably going to see is Kali going to go get that Void Heart check. And Potato potentially, yeah, stagging back to Hidden Station and going also for that Void, void Heart check. Yeah, Kali's maybe racing make it there for first. it. Yeah, especially with Kali already having the the door into Abyss having open. Having the door open has the has the birthplace open has the bench at Asian Basin Toll Asian Basin Toll has all the things going for them. It's unfortunately going to be a bit of an easy <laughs> easy win on Kali's side, and Potato also realizing that has TE doesn't have to go doesn't have to wait. And just immediately goes down to uh, goes down to Black Egg. Gonna finally be putting on that shaman for five. That shaman for five. Yeah, all they are waiting for is just to see that little bit of text pop up. Yeah, oh, think... and we <coughs> excuse me, we are gonna see. We're, we're going to see that void heart climb to finish it off as well. Mm -hmm. Don't believe we ever we don't don't believe we actually need to, but hey. Yeah, with the the language of the goal being check void heart, uh, you only need to know what's there, not actually obtain it. Um. Okay, it's a bit more movement for the road. Mm -hmm. I will say. Personally, when I'm uh, making settings for, for rando races, uh, if I see Check Void Heart on the board, uh, I will go into the settings and turn off Void Heart Preview uh, because I think people should should get more Abyss Climb ILs in. No, that's that's fair. Though it isn't quite Abyss Climb, it's a bit it's a bit different. There's a couple of extra platforms. There's a couple mm -hmm. platforms missing, I believe. It's close enough. It's a it's a it's Void Heart Climb. Yeah, Void Heart Climb. We see Potato just shrieking the absolutely living or unliving infection out of THK. Alright, and Kali finishing that Void Heart Climb. See Kali falling into the darkness as Potato challenges the light, the void, and the infection 
the shade and the radiance, the two parallels. I am just going, I'm just absolutely BSing that. We're going into the radiance fight. We have plenty of things. We're just going to be shrieking the entire way through. And we have nail upgrades. We have plenty of damage. This shouldn't really take too long at all. Yeah, already we see Potato going to be moving on to the second phase. Yeah. And Kali as well, all these charms. And only puts on two of them. Shaman Stone and Fragile and Unbreakable Strength, rather. And that's all you need. And that's all the, all the notches that you have to put on charms with is eight notches. And those charms both going to take that total of eight, even with Charm Rant Notch Rando. Yeah, pretty, pretty rude seeing that Shaman's for five. Yeah, pretty weird seeing these radiance patterns too for potato is a little scary. Oop, yeah, that's gonna be hard to dodge. Yeah, really tough to see that uh, wall of light coming at you and you kind of have nowhere to run from it. Yeah, light beams, light beams going everywhere and beam wall coming at you, and you have a platform right next to you, so you can't dash through the beam wall either. Yeah, and not having soul to be able to go for a dive to get through it. Yeah, difficult positioning to work with as Kali heads into their Radiance fight here. Potato gonna get their THK pretty quickly. Be right back in there to, to finish up. Yeah, such a quick fight with all these upgrades. Especially for someone that's recently been doing lots of Pantheons. And knows the Radiance fight in and out. Probably going to be moving on to the second phase here. Potato also going in. I love these shrieks from the custom skins, especially Collies. Just, 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 a, just a bunch of cute little dogs, and I, and I love it. Little shade little dogs. dogs, absolutely destroying the moth. <laughs> you know, when you put it that way, it looks like it's, it sounds. <laughs> it starts to sound like something, sounding like something that could actually happen. Just a bunch. That's just a bunch of dogs and just just destroying a moth, and we're gonna no. be destroying that moth so hard right now. <laughs> Climbing up and just needs one more hit, finish it off. And that's GG. GG from Kali, and we have Potato finishing off the fight as well at this point. A couple streaks, and that is climb. Mm. Very well done by green team. Uh, again, a pretty unfortunate seed. Yeah. That was um, a lot of checks before getting to Shade Cloak. Yeah. And that's GG from Potato. Just a couple more hits to finish off Radiance. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and be getting our runners into to VC for a quick post-match interview if they um, want to join. Uh, so yeah, chat, let us know if you have any any questions you want us to, to pass along. All right. Hello. Oh, come on in, GG's. We're gonna wait wait a couple more seconds for for last for the other two for Kali and Potato to come in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like Potato finished the Radiance fight on stream. Yeah, from what I can see. Yeah, we'll get them in here once they're ready. Once they're ready, and if if they don't want to, then that's completely fine too. Of course. It. We've been going for two hours. The fox is asleep. That's how long we've been going. The fox. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess to we'll calm. Really soon. Nearly one hour later. 
<laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess to the Pure Neon Kama, how do you feel after the, that raid? What are your I'm general... really glad that I checked Shape of One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely made a big yeah. difference in this the, seed. The dashes in this seed were absolutely brutal. Yeah. Um, we yeah. had I we did see we did see all four dashes in this race. We did see the of course the one oh, at um oh at God. the deepness idol. We did see the one at Shape of N. And we did see the one at GPZ. <laughs> yeah, the, the fourth yeah. one uh was at the Void Tendrils journal. Void Tendrils, which is Shade Cloak oh, Block. Shade yep. Cloak <laughs> so there's one in Deep Nest, one at Shape of Un, one at GPZ, and one that's Shade Cloak Block. So that's absolutely a trip. But anyways, GG's to all four runners. <laughs> GG's. The real question was... is, did you get the Shade Cloak at GPZ? <laughs> no, we got Shape of Un and Zone Idol. I think if we didn't find one, we would have gone GPZ, though, probably. Yeah. Yeah, did so yeah. comment did you preview uh GPZ early on? I guess I I, I got Bridal with just uh Wings and Claw and then okay. GPZ okay. very early. So mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we had GPZ in the back of our minds. But I was like, I don't neither of us wanted to do a dashless GPZ. That was not sounds awful. anywhere on our priority. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. <laughs> Plus we had relatively early sprint master dash master which definitely yeah that was really nice. bit. yeah we didn't see that dash master sprint master come into play i believe pure nail was you right that did the uh that did the uh geo chest and peaks with that with that combination without any horizontal um was it oh yes no i did i did the geo chest and peaks for that combo and then i had to i've never done that rate skip before um but like I looked at it and I'm like, this has to be right skippable. So I did that. Nice. Uh, the one to get to, to get to the no to get to the glade idol without horizontal. For mm. Oh yeah. And that really paid off, so I was happy about that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we I just threw the wet back there. Early on, we were um, staying in in the comms room. We were talking about how green actually had went to joni's early and had that dream nail and the king's brand and we were worried that uh that uh, navy team Tom and pure nail would weren't going to pick that up until later until pretty late into the seed and you didn't it was just a matter of green team was a bit later just a little bit later to dash just oh, just a tiny what? bit <laughs> like when when you guys marked the the shade club goal, we didn't have das. No. And like, oh, oh no! No sign what of was dash. that? Yeah, pure nail. I guess this is why you don't do hornet early. You forget it all shape up. <laughs> yeah, that that we were talking about that a lot. How because I did hornet later after I had the movement for shape of one, it makes it that easier makes to sense. get it. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. Because yeah, mm -hmm. we just. It crossed my mind a couple times, so like, oh, maybe we should like go back to these things. But I was like, nah, it won't I, be there. I I felt really bad picking up the lantern, but like I'd already done peak, I'd already done peak dark room and whatnot, so like it wasn't too bad. We were we were saying like, um, white palace is like fourteen checks, right? Surely, mm -hmm. surely, and it was nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, yeah. Yeah. So we we you guys had the lifeblood before we did mm -hmm. and we we got white palace access shortly after that and we were like did they find the lifeblood charm in palace and we both said no no they didn't and we just never did palace <laughs> yeah when i got monomon in basin and i like you guys had that way before we did i was like oh maybe this is where they found the dashes it was not <laughs> no. you you guys had city access way before we, we had really early city access we got yeah we just we checked really claw early. super late wait that potato go to claw immediately and like he did in the three lines <laughs> yeah uh, our, our, yeah, our city yesterday. access was a uh, elevator pass and see oh okay mm -hmm. yeah we had king stag early so like that was just full city access and we got swim early so i got to go to edge which was fun that was great 
So wait, uh, for Pyrneal and Kama, I'm curious. Did you uh, check with the spoiler log yet where that last um, lifeblood charm was that you didn't get? Yes, and I yelled at Kama. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Was at okay, that. We, it was at that. Um. It was at that sly behind that shop key. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's understandable because I picked up shop key like as he was fighting Hive Knight. So he, mm. he just, I think he just forgot that. He had yeah. Done. I completely forgot. Like, I, I didn't realize I saved Sly even. He was bad. <laughs> I think Pyrnel did Crossroads Grubs, right? So I was like, oh, yeah, he has Sly and Blue, right? But yeah, because you had to do Radiant Boss and something else. So yeah, I right. just did Crossroads Grubs. I just, I just forgot Sly key existed, basically. <laughs> Oh, right, and I, I used the Mark of Pride skip to do t quest because I wasn't the one who did Crossroads, and then you found Crossroads tag, like, literally two seconds before I got to this guy. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. that, that happened with King's tag, too, I think. It just yes, it did. Me. You got King's tag right before I made it to King's tag. Crossroads tag was a high blood, yay. <laughs> Oh, so that was okay. So that was, I guess I just did QG into T cell quest, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys notice that I didn't bench all the way at uh, Queen's Gardens corner for bench? Oh, I did not notice that. Did you not get the get it to save on yeah, your there bench? There was board? a period. I had, yeah. So like, there was a, if you go back in the video log, there's a period where like I rewarped a CG bench like three times. And then I open the bench log, and you can see me checking uh, corner for bench, and it's read it out. And I'm like, oh, oh no, I quit out too early. <laughs> no, we didn't catch that's, that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's fine because we found QG stack later. Yeah, we went. We went to all the wrong places. We <laughs> like, really did. Never find bench. We yeah, found we it. a lot of other good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you guys were tangoing pretty well on goals for a while. Yeah. I honestly, I honestly felt that we were behind in like the early game. Yeah, we were we keeping were up pretty probably. good. And then after Dash, we just <laughs> never found our Dash. Yep. We were just cruising on Sprint Master, Sprint Master, Dash Master for a long time. Uh, do you have your skill timeline? Yeah, let me see. Hang on. Um, let me find it. So Dash was at um, one hour and fifteen minutes. Oh no! And oh, Shade Cloak no. at one hour fifty three minutes. Oh no! Just like forty minutes after. Yeah, that is really unfortunate. Dash. Yeah, we our Dash was at forty two minutes, and then our Shade Cloak was like thirteen minutes later. How you spoiler an image? Hang on, that's how you do it. That 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 dash timing is super unfortunate. Yeah. Oh well. The the other the unfortunate thing is that this was a wings claw seed, which is the most RNG of seeds because it opens everything slowly. Yeah. yeah. I think wings claw is super hard to read if you can read it at all. So. Yeah. I was briefly considering doing, because uh, we started with just Claw, and I was talking to Kama about doing uh, Mark of Pride Boulder Killer to go to Cliffs, and then he found Wings immediately. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Having Vertical early was really nice. Yes. Unfortunately, it was a Claw first seed, and this is what happens when you get Claw first. This is true. You can go everywhere. Yeah, once again, I just want to say GG's to all of our runners. It was very well done. A little bit unfortunate with the seed, but Colleen Potato, still you still fun. did a very good job of keeping it close on the board uh, up until you got mm -hmm. to just having those dash locked goals. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I still had fun with it. I got to do Edge. I, got, I had a reason to do Hornet too and actually justify it, so it's all yeah. good. <laughs> fun seed. Doing a couple of things that you wouldn't usually do dashless. So. Yeah, I, experience. I went into White Defender not realizing that, like, dash is mildly important there. Yeah, a little it, bit. It, it, can, it, can, a little it bit. can help. 
it can help a little bit there. Mm -hmm. but that was fine. my first time doing a dashless CPH test. I've never done that before. Oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah, definitely an experience. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe team uh, Piranel and Kama are going to be moving on to winners round two, I believe. Uh, Colleen Potato with that uh, loss, unfortunately going to be knocked down to loser's bracket. Still have a chance to make it back, but you do only have one chance left to make it up. And another loss will unfortunately be knocking you two out of the bracket. So good luck with your future races, both teams, again, tournament going to be going for the next about three, four weeks. Um, I'll let A-Press talk about it, a little bit more about that. Yeah, keep a, keep an eye out on the, the channel. Make sure to follow if you want to see more of these races. Uh, tomorrow, we should have at least three races that are going to be restreamed, potentially a fourth. Um, and more to come for the, the next three weeks. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out. We'll be Trying to update the schedule as soon as we know about the which matches will be restreamed. Um, yeah, once again, good luck to all the runners and very, very well played. Thank you, Palms. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Palms. Thanks, Restream. GG's, everybody. Yeah. GG's. And also, thanks for putting it together like the last second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's nice to try to get some some short uh more short-term tournaments like this so yeah for sure. it's nice yeah, to see that things are, are working out pretty well so far yeah, i'm excited for the fast format here yeah we uh also we scheduled this match two and a half hours before it started so everything got pulled <laughs> together really quick <laughs> all right i should go to bed yeah GGs. Good, night, good night everybody good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. And yeah, we'll be heading on over to Colette MSLP stream. Uh, Colette, a big uh, randoer, uh, was here in chat. I think playing some Hades right now. But yeah, let's go uh, wish her a good stream. Thanks for watching, everyone.